new WBA regular heavyweight champion Trevor the Dream Bryant says he's ready for Fury and Joshua bring them on ready to do what exactly I'm not quite sure but maybe we'll figure it out as this video goes along I don't think it's I don't think he's referring to boxing but yeah Brian um, captured his WBA trinket championship against Bermain Stavern Bermain B West <laughs> Bermain B West Stavern and now he's talking about he's ready for Fury and Joshua yeah that just sounds like a bit of trolling B were is coming off well his last four fights he's been stopped twice he's lost three of the last four and the one he won was against a journeyman in, in Derek Rossi who actually dropped him in that fight I believe and I actually felt like he lost that fight he got given the gift decision in that fight so arguably Vermin B worse to Vern lost his last four fights Trevor Bryan captures his WBA regular title against him and now he wants to but I'm not quite sure what he wants to do he said he's ready for something I don't think it's boxing it can't be boxing you can't be going um, 11 rounds with B where and talking about you're ready for an undisputed title fight it's not happy it doesn't work like that you need to you need to prove yourself mate go go fight some some real live bodies you know go get some someone respectable on your record not no B West of her alright B West of got stopped by by um the juggernaut Joe Joyce in what, what was it four or five rounds four or five rounds like then was it last two years ago B West got stopped he's been very very inactive even leading leading up to the Wilder fight I think he was out for about three years two years before the Wilder fight and he was out for about say a year or so before the Joe Joyce fight and now leading up to your fight he's been out for just over what two years the guy's been out for two years that's who you pick up your title against and you're talking about you're ready for what <laughs> Berman is the Vern he, sh he shouldn't be even qualified to fight an, an eliminator, not to talk about a, a world title fight. And Steven was piecing him up in there. He was touching him. He was touching him from like the second round. Steven was catching Brian whenever he wanted to. Just, you know, um, Steven had his little stamina issues. So he was preserving his energy. Just reduced to like sporadic shots um, from like the mid midway point of the fight. He stopped throwing as much as it was from like the second round because obviously energy issues. So against someone with a bit more, you know, a bit more to him than um, Beware, I think Brown will be in proper trouble. He's fought nobody. If you go through his record, he's fought no one. The best guy in his record is Derek Rossi, a journeyman. That's the best guy I could see in his record. So yeah, you're not ready for nothing. You need to go bin that title. Or give it back to Char. Let Char. I enjoy seeing Char as a world champion. I enjoy Manuel Char's captions. His deluded captions. He's more interesting. Give that belt to Char. Let Char go play with it. Go, go get serious with your career. Stop with this world champion crap. You're not no world champion. Give Mahmoud back his belt, man. Go get serious. Anyways, moving on. Here's Trevor. I'm the only champion in America now. I'm a force to be reckoned with. I'm back in the gym in Pompano Beach. I'm ready for Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. Bring them on. <laughs> How sad is it that in America, you got this guy parading around as the only champion in America. They really don't have anyone right now, do they? If you go through, you know, the list of heavyweights, it's not really much there apart from, say, Marco Hunter. That's probably, probably Andy, what, Andy Ruiz. Coming off a loss, Wilder just lost, plus his garbage. Um, who they got? What? Charles Martin? Washington? Gerald Washington? <laughs> nah, that's, that's not good enough, is it? Brazil? Dominic Brazil? Yeah. But someone I do like, um, you know, the this weekend, this past weekend, there was um, some PBC card. The guy that knocked out the Marnie Rock, the guy from Philly. There was some American heavyweight that knocked out the money rock. What's his name? Uh, Michael Coffey. 
Michael Coffey. He looked, he looked alright. He's a bit of a late bloomer. He, I think he's about what in his mid thirties, but he's a prospect in his mid thirties, like Joey Joyce. He looked alright. He looked some decent boxing skills, and he, he, was, he was trying to catch that guy out there. He caught him, caught him for a nice left uppercut. He was disgusting. He deleted the guy's chin. He had the money rock looking crazy out there with his Olympic pedigree. The money rock. He was he was once touted as um, the next savior of the American heavyweight scene. They were even comparing him to Muhammad Ali at one point. Yeah, the guy was really, really he had really they had high hopes for this guy. Then he just gained um, gained what what do you call that blood handles and back titties and all sorts of random stuff. Just fat, fat. Now he they look disgusting in there. The ring. You can see this blood handles. Ugh. Anyways, yeah, back to Trevor Bryan. Trevor Bryan, he holds this um, this ridiculous trinket, and I guess he's just gonna try and hold it for as long as possible. Fighting, I don't think he's gonna fight anyone of note. He's just gonna buy this time and try and see if he can get um, some sort of shot at the winner of AJ Fury at some point. It's not gonna happen before. It's not gonna happen before Usyk. It's not gonna happen before um, what's his name? <laughs> Usyk. Usyk or Joyce. It's not gonna happen before Dylan or Povetkin. I shouldn't think anyway. So we're looking at late um twenty twenty mid twenty twenty two late twenty twenty two at earliest. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Yeah, or unless something else happened before then, <laughs> mind you. Mahmoud Cha is still champion in recess, so he's he's started some sort of court proceedings against um, the WBA. He wants his belt back. There's still gonna be a whole bunch of madness um, involving this belt, Trevor Bryan's belt. So yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll see what happens from here on. We'll see what how this whole thing plays out. Because ultimately, this is for a shot at. The WBA super champion, which is Anthony Joshua, as it stands, and um, after the Fury fight, that would be a shot at um, the undisputed champion. So it's quite a big deal. It's quite a big deal. Well, it might not be a shot at the undisputed champion because after the first Joshua and Fury fight, the winner might um, drop the WBO regardless, and the winner between Usyk and Joyce would then become the full WBO champion. But the WBA regular holder does get a shot at the super champion. Well, that's that's what we're expecting. The WBA regular holder would eventually get a shot at whoever holds the super belt at some point. So let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comment section below. How do you think this whole thing is going to play out? And how do you rate Trevor Bryan's chances against the elite in the heavyweight division? Furthermore, how do you rate his chances against the top 10 in the heavyweight division, whoever your top 10 is? Do you rate him at all? Leave your comments below. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out.